the driver's seat. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. <laughs> Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. He thinks he's hot shit, probably. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving <laughs> LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. <laughs> Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. All right, we had to... Um, there was a uh, suspicious car, so we had to go find out. They really that pushed is. you through I quick, gave his didn't wife they? A tap. Six said, years oh, on patrol yeah. before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? <laughs> yeah, I didn't that ask was for any favors. But we showed intuition and wanting to get down to the truth. So this canary says he'll sing, but only if I guarantee he walks. The cop from the newspaper. Oh, here's our car. Alright. You know this place? Get into the car. <laughs> Sir, near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together, don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. Oh, wow. You were up there all night. Draped in the flag. Knife between your teeth. Gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit to do this. Now fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Mm. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. 
That's the third time you've told me. <laughs> He's a little jealous that uh, we um, got them, uh, promoted to. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. It's something about a uh, suspicious. Is that you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Well, we probably have to conduct another interview. This is your first <sighs> case, folks. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. That's good that he's going to help us out if we get stumped, but I'm going to try my best not to get stumped. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the coroner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. How go long you gonna him? keep me here, sir? I better get back to work, sir. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. Okay, I'm you gonna found talk to him vehicle? early. Sure. So I just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Uh... That sounds okay. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Let's ask him um, Do you if know he has Adrian anything. Black, on Adrian Mr. Wilkie? Black. No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Am I going to have to stand That's here all day until you tell me the truth? You know the driver. I'm telling you, I don't know who was driving that car. You can prove it different. Large splashes of blood found inside abandoned vehicle. Uh. Guns, power, they go to your head, son. It's about time you made me an apology. Oh. Thank you for your patience, Mr. All Wilkie. Right. If you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. Oh. <clears throat> So wallet. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Yeah. That's a little weird. 
happier times, I guess. Is that the wife? Oh, he wore glasses. Stenzel glasses. Stenzel. Home repaired by the look of it. Huh. So this guy wasn't very, um, not very well done. Not very rich. Let's investigate the car. Oh, man. Victim. It's Looks to have lost a blood. lot of blood. Ugh. Mm. What's this? Cigarette box. Nothing significant. Oh, alright. Hey, Flatfoot. You're looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a nickel for it. <laughs> Doc. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Let's go try on um, the trunk. Oh, we might have a murder weapon here. Incidental. What is this? Mr. F. Mr. F. Morgan, Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? For $320. Huh. Let's try over here. Here, Phelps, we're not done yet. Keep searching. Uh, that's what I was doing. What do you think? Have a word with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. I, I thought I already talked to the witness. Alright, let's go talk to the witness again. <clears throat> the wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. I feel like he's lying. I told you all I can. I got to go back to work or I'll lose my job. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a bloody... Could be our, uh... Brand name might give us something state. to go on. 
and and still meat. Huh? Isn't that where he got the pig meat? You guys take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done, and we're still punching the clock. Going where? No. The music has stopped, so does that mean we're done? Let's go talk to the, our partner here. Advice? Have a word of the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Oh, no. Tell it me the seem... truth. You hit the driver with the pipe. You can't prove I touched that pipe. I think you should take that gun off, and I'll teach you a lesson in some manner. You want to arrest me now, or can I go back to work? Don't leave town, Mr. Wilkie. We'll get in touch with your employer if we need anything more from you. I'll let him know why I missed half my shift today. Your boy should learn some gratitude. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. All right, let's go inform the wife then.